Hello. Hi, everyone. Please let me know if the sound is okay because I tried to hook up my mic again, again. And um, Sunday's here. Excellent. I'm so happy to see everyone is one is here. Um, hi, Autumn. Hi, oh, you're in. Oh, you're in. Oh, fantastic. How is the sound? Can you hear me? I'm waiting to find out. Sounds great. Great. Excellent. Okay. So here we are. This is the Hass auction that that guy was delayed um we got through a few of the pieces we actually only got through about 10 or, or 11 pieces um so we if there if there is an echo and else please confirm firm sounder there is a little echo every few words okay so so i'm i'm going um dis, um, dis mic and i will be ba back Shortly, give me one minute or less than one minute. Okay. to stream and okay how are we now that should be better um technical intermission yeah exactly thank you sunday so much for doing that um uh so uh, let me know please how it sounds now i just connected the external mic so i'm back to sounding like i'm in an echo chamber oh hey Hey, Ruth, hi, so nice to see you. So it's really exciting. We only got through a very few of them. Um, so all the other ones from the preview are left. I mean, most of them are left. So I'm just gonna try and move fast tonight. I really want to find homes for these things um, and get them out to everyone. So I'm very well organized and I'll just go over the basics. If you are new, I need your... Um, email address, your YouTube name, and the country that you live in, texted or emailed to me now so that if you bid, I will be able to reach you. Um, if for some reason someone bids and they are not, uh, and I'm not able to reach them, I will contact the second up for the second chance offer and um, your whatever you bid will stand. So if the top bid is a no-show, the next person in line will get it and you'll hear from me, okay? Because I don't know exactly how polite everyone is gonna be tonight. Um, that being said, it is $5 increments. It is always $5 increments. Shipping is free um, on me, actually, it's on me. It's, and shipping is not free, shipping is expensive, but um, I will be doing flat rate shipping. I encourage insurance. Um, this is Haskell, so I, I definitely, um, encourage insurance for these things. And, oh, and if you live in another country, then we will split the difference. It's, it's uh, I'll pay for all of it within the United States, okay? And um, going back to the politeness in the chat, I've noticed recently in a lot of the chat boxes and on a lot of um, people's channels in the community, there are people that are um, spamming the chat box and um, in a way that is, oh, Steen's not a troll. Steen's just um, speaking in, uh, I think, Norwegian. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know what that is. Remind me, Steve. Um, Steen. Um, so, yeah. So if you are a new YouTuber and you are here tonight to spam the chat, that will not fly. Trust me, you're not making friends, you're not impressing anyone, and you're not going to get the results that you want. There are polite ways 
to do things, okay? So that being said, let's get started. Um, is there anything that I missed? Anything that I missed at all? Let me know. Um, <laughs> Sunday's watching for the trolls. You've, uh, I've seen a lit of it. Oh yeah, exactly. I know Lizzie seen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's not productive to try and grow your channel by, um, spamming other people's chats, no matter what they have planned or who they're collaborating, collaborating with, um, on that day. And, um, it's better to figure out how to be polite figure out the etiquette that we all have and um, try and grow organically, you know, make a better video, do something better, be more creative. So that being said, we are starting with the red coral stick pin for 175. That's the starting bid. That was number 14 in the preview video. And it is lovely. It's an old one. It is in the silver tone. It's in perfect condition. Um, hi, everyone. Everyone's still saying hi, so that's good. I feel like I haven't taken up too much of your time with my preaching. Um, yeah, red coral stick pin starting bid 175. There it is, right there. It is quite lovely. There's the back of it. Oh, also we have a couple of pre-bids in already and I will let you know when we get there. Um, oh, and the 5% still stands. If you want a 5% off of your um, total, then you can send a check. Just like a regular auction house. There's the signature right there. And there's the little, and we will be moving fast. If there is no bid, we will move on. There's the lovely thing. That's the little keeper. Um, so, oh, hi, Lynn. So nice to see you. Um, it is gorgeous, isn't it? Yes, I agree. Um, new bidders. Yes, Sunday. Thank you so much, Sunday. I will be doing the same for you shortly, I'm sure, when you are ready. Here, I'll put it on the pillow so you guys can see the size of it. It is exquisite. Right there. All right. Yeah, the back. I know it's perfect. Haskell, really perfect. This is all one single collection. Also, um, there are earrings and um, necklaces that don't have mates. So I want you to know whoever wins, like, let's say you have a, a set of earrings that you win. If I get the mates uh, at a later date, I will give you dibs on the matching pieces. So we're going to move on. We'll call that a pass. Okay, and then number 15 is a favorite of mine. That's a pansy. Isn't this awesome? Look at this. Look at that. With the rose Montes. And it's, it's in almost like a rose tone. It's not quite. It's still Russian gold. But it's because of the coppery tones in the net amazing yeah 67 in the house okay so so click like if you like this um there will be more um there is more um from this uh collector she is she is also going to be um we're gonna we're going to have from her hobe and les bernard and probably some more haskell too yeah, this is incredible. The starting bid on this figural pansy stick pin is 200. That's actually low. I started everything low. So um, in the spirit of an auction, right? So here you go. Look at that. I love this one. Isn't that special? Okay, so starting bid on that is 200. And do we have any bids for 200? If not, we will move on. There it is close up there. It's in perfect, it's, in, it's like new. She was a serious collector or custodian, really. There's a the little keeper with like a little amber tone. 
There's the shine on the Rosemontes. Look at the height of it. It's so special. Yeah. Okay, Christina's in for 200. All right. Um. <laughs> hey, Benji's here. Benji, I like how you changed your name. I think that's really fun. So Somers is at now at 205. Um, I'm going to measure this so you can tell how large the main part of it is. It's so beautiful in person. It's not, the camera is not doing justice. Okay, so this is one and three quarters inches long. It's nice. And one and a half inches wide right there. I'm going to put it on the pink. Everyone knows the size of the pink pillow. So, oh, look at this beautiful Haskell. This may never happen again in this form. This is really um, a special night that I've been planning for a long time. Look at that. There you go. That's it. Just even if it was just that, just a brooch. Look at the size of that. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. So special. Oh, yes. Right. That's the best way to do it. Just say hi. Hello, friends in the chat. Right? There we are. There is the back. Oops. Right there. So special. And then this is how to keep it. Look, the keeper is perfect. It still has all the little etchings on it. And you guys know how to, how to run the keeper, right? It's this little spring ring mechanism. And that's how it comes off. I'm not going to do it now because I'm butterfingery today. I can tell already. So what is the top bid? I'm watching you Sunday. S looks like Somers is at 225. Anybody else? 225 is the bid to beat. Anybody else in at 230 for the vintage 1940s Haskell in mint condition, eerily fresh stick pin? Uh, these were made, someone wrote in. Um, I haven't vetted this, but it came from a good source. Somebody in our community wrote in after the show and said, that um, these stick pins were often made from single earrings that were prototypes that might have been too expensive to make or something. And so they were one offs. So a lot of the stick pins that you see that were Haskell's are literally one of a kind. How cool is that? Um, so <laughs> what happened to Benji? Something happened to Benji? <laughs> oh, no, I have to find out. Let's find out. Oh, Oh, yes. Okay, Benji. Yes. Love to you. Love to you, my friend. Many hugs. Thank you for popping in. Um, okay. So, yeah, everyone, silent prayer for Benji. He's a wonderful, wonderful man. Um, he was one of the very first people that started following me when I just started. All right. So I think I'm going to call this for Christina is out. So Selmer's 422 is the high bidder at... 225. Let me ring the bell. The bell has rung. All right. Congratulations. I don't know if I know, um, I know you, but I don't know if I still have your info. So if you would be so kind as to resend it, that would be fantastic. And then we can discuss insurance as well. Um, now let me put this away safely. And it's a special night. It's a really special night, you know. Luckily, there's enough of it so that we can all share. Um, number 16, another personal favorite. This is an oldie. Okay, starting bid on this one is 85. 85. It's got the old Haskell Baroque Pearl. Rosemontes, rhinestones, still has its keeper. 
the perfect pearl. Oh, also, I forgot. There's another thing I forgot to mention. Um, the giveaway tonight is uh, $25 towards whatever you win. Or if you're not a winner, if you if you haven't got a winning bid, you'll still get the $25. If you're the one who gets it, you'll just get it towards anything in the shop. OK, so it's $25. Because there's nothing to give away that compares with Haskell when you're doing Haskell. So I'm just going to make it $25. Look how perfect this is. This starting bit is 85. Yeah, that's it from the side. It's so magnificent. There it is in the back. This is another oldie, but so fresh. You know, look at the keeper, the little pearl in the keeper. Wonderful, right? So Sue Ellen is in at 85. I'll put it on the pillow. Well, let me measure it. Okay, so <clears throat> this looks like it might be symmetrical, like as wide as it is long. On the, okay, so it's, it's an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter. So it's triangular right? Not quite 90 degrees. So that's that nice size. Yeah, I know. That's the thing about Haskell is that, you know, all handmade by people who were taught to make each piece. So there's so much soul in them. And this is in remarkably perfect condition. Look at that. It's like a spray that goes around of rhinestones. And then these are all the little Rosemontes. And then this is intact, perfect, and amazing. No, Haskell pearls are on their own, something completely different. Hi, girly gamer. Welcome, welcome. You are new. Yeah, Haskell is um, a company that, uh, it's a vintage jewelry company that is highly collectible. Um, some people consider her like the American Chanel. So, and I think that was in the book. I didn't just make that up. So where are we with the bids? Uh, Sue Ellen is at 85. Do we hear 90? Anybody in at 90 for the vintage 1940s Haskell stick pin with keeper? Yeah. Yeah. You could, I mean, you can't find replacement keepers for much under that, if you can find them. Uh, let's see if I can, I don't want to leave the chat. I'm not going to do the going, going, gone, because maybe I'll do a, I'll do a clock. Okay, so that is here. All right, so hi, Jackie. Yes, and please don't forget, there's also layaway, you know, um, I will definitely do layaway for you. We can split the payments. You can pay by check. I'm very um, flexible and reasonable. It's just like a store. Um, I have, uh, you know, I'm well trusted and I trust you until you tell me otherwise. So there you go. All right, so 20 seconds left. Yeah, that's okay, Carmen. You can absolutely, absolutely use the layaway, okay? Um, just watching the clock now. I cannot see the comments, so counting it down. There it is. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. Okay, hiding that. Let's go back. And, oh, there are some bids that came in. Okay, so Sue Ellen. Um, yep, thank you, Sunday, for doing this. I wish we could hear each other. Jane is in at 100. I'm going to try and show you the mechanism again. Okay, so that's the back of it. It's like a little spring mechanism. It's very sturdy and you have to hold it and pull. Okay, see, that's what it's like. Oops, I am butterfingery. I knew I would be. So there's the... Hold on, see that? That's the thing that holds it. And if you don't pull that off, it will never come off the stick pin. You have to kind of engage the plunger and then just to put it on, you just put it on. You don't have to do anything except 
add it to it. So top bid is 100. Let me get it on the pillow. And yeah. Oh, they're, they're all, I know that they're not inexpensive, but I started the bids so that everyone could try and play along and they hold their value. They increase in value. Look at that. Look at it with the, there, see, there's the pearl. Ta-da, gorgeous. So beautiful. Oh, hi, Future State Kim. Okay, I thought I saw my phone flash. Um, let me double check it. Okay. Yes, got you, Somers. Thank you very much. And I don't see, Kim, I don't see yours, but that's okay. Um, you know, we're not going to hold everybody up tonight. It's just, you know, you have time to make sure I have your information. And then if I don't have it, I will offer to second bidder, um, which I think is fair. Um, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so, oh, you want to bid for 115. Okay, oh, Jane's in at 120. Jane is in at 120. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Nan. Yes, please, everyone, like and subscribe. It's a great channel. Um, I've been doing it for several years, but really I've been doing this for 25 years, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, you know, 25 years. It's like that rap song. I wish I can, I can remember it. I can't remember it, but it's like, you know, can't, can't compare it. So, okay, let's see. Um, top bid at 120 and ring the bell. All right. I'm taking that as a uh, sold. Ta-da. Can you guys hear the bell? Oh, layaway. Um, uh, yeah, it's totally fine. Layaway works. Um, you know, I can do like a, I think I want to standardize it at a two month period, or if you have a lot, maybe a three month period, two or three months something like that. We'll figure it out. No worries. Oh, this has already been called. All right. I think that was Jane Ty, but don't worry. There's more. Let me just double check. Um, 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 um. Yep. Jane Ty at 120. Oh my God. What a score. Vintage 1940s Haskell with the keeper. It's going to be a fun night. It's going to be a really fun night. I'm going to keep it moving. Okay. Wow. 120. Wow. 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 And she's a collector. She's not a reseller. Okay, putting that away. Oh, <laughs> sorry, everyone. I might have jumped that one. That's okay. There's more. Okay, number seventeen. This is old and unsigned. I don't have a keeper for it, so I'm starting it at one twenty. Look at it. It's really exceptional. I have never seen one like this before. This was clearly, um, you know, if the um, person that wrote to me was correct, someone in the community, this looks like it could have been an earring to me that they didn't make. Oh, got it, Kim. Got it. Totally got it. Thank you so much for texting. So look how beautiful this is. Not signed. Look at it. Look at the back. Isn't that beautiful? Starting bit on this is 120. Now, if you're someone who wins another stick pin, you can share the keeper from another stick pin. Nothing wrong with that. Look at the Rosemontes. They're so fresh. Look at them sparkling alongside the rhinestones. And there's little seed pearls in there. This is nice. This is a nice one. Let me get it on the pillow. There it is on the pillow. Ta-da, beautiful. And it's nice because it's totally round. I like things when they have like a geometric shape. I feel like they're easy to balance with other things. Um, and the measurement on this one, holy Haskell. Oh my God, that's brilliant, Nan. You could be a copy a copywriter. Are they still called that? Probably not. Um, so this is one and a half inches diameter. Look at the, look at the height of it. 
look at the dimension of it. Like it has a height because it waves. See that? Ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la 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 la, la 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 la. All right, so we'll give this a few seconds. I'll put a minute up and let me find it. There it is. We'll give everyone a minute to think about it and then we will move on. If someone were to buy something unsigned, can you give a written provenance for the piece? Yes, absolutely. Um, and it's quite obvious that I won't tell you the name of the estate person, but I can definitely uh, do that. No, maybe I can. I'll figure it out. I might be able to. So there we are. <laughs> Christina's in heaven. Yeah. You know, you don't need always to see a signature. This is something that does not need, you don't need the, uh, you don't need that. Oh, the countdown. Thanks, Sunday. Let me go back over to it. And that's the back right there. Yeah, they can't copy this. There is no, and it's not Hong Kong. You know, it's not, it's definitely has, it came from the Haskell estate. I can definitely say that it was in the provenance of the Haskell estate. Okay, so uh, let's see. So we are passing on that one. That was 17, right? Get ready, 18 is really amazing. 18 is really amazing. I'm starting at 85. Oh my God. <laughs> look at that. Look at the, look at the way it's designed. See, it's, it has like this. I've never seen one do that before. They were so creative. Still has its perfect original keeper with the tiny, tiny pink beads. Started this at 85. Okay, the multis, these are so collectible. Look, perfect little blue, little seed beads. It's just delightful. There's the back. It's like fresh, you know, look at the pearl. Yeah, it's great. This one's really great. I do love this one. So pretty. And these are easy to wear. All right. There it is on black. Here it is on pink. It's going to be stunning on pink. And there's like this little um, kind of pearl. Oh, everything's backwards. It's a little kind of pearl shaped here thing that I'm sure they were putting in necklaces. Look at that. Look. Heaven, heaven, heaven. And then there's the dimension of it. All right, we are at 100. Hey, Jen, so nice to see you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm going to run out of words because they're too wonderful. I'll show you the cartouche again. Also, my hands may start to shake. I'm, I am officially, look, this one has, this one you know is older. I, this one I would definitely put at 45 to 55. Look, there's even a little detail. Look at this. Look at this detail work. They put a little flower on the back. It's probably coming up where the wire comes out. My God. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Did I measure it? Let me measure it. I know. I know the keeper. I know they they have a soul. They just do. Okay, so this one's about one and a half by almost one inch. It's narrower. It's one and a half long by just under an inch wide. And it has this lovely floral... Uh, filigree work. Look at the pearls. Look at that. There's green in there. Divine. Totally divine. Still a great buy at 110. Um, I'll put it over the pink again. I really like it over the pink. Not going to lie. 
There it is. Everything's backwards, it's very hard. <laughs> there you go. So beautiful. So, oh, that's your favorite so far. Oh, have you seen the preview? There's some really amazing things coming up. I should tease the most expensive thing. Um, I think I will. I'm going to tease that because it reminds me of this with the multicolors and that's the most expensive one. Um, that's something you'll only see like once in a lifetime. And it's like out of the box. Good. Um, look at this. This is 120. Look at the little dangle of the pearl. Really, really wonderful. So it looks like uh, it is a battle between Nan and the Christinas. Is it both Christinas or just, no, Christina and Nan. And we have a, whoops. All right. Tease it. All right. Let me see if I can read that. Tease it so we can all count our pennies. Oh, okay. I will do that. Yeah. Oh, the Lucite necklace. Yeah. Um, I, I won that. That one, that's, that's going to stay in my collection for a little while. I also collect Lucite. So it's a crossover for me. Okay. Geo 89, you're new. We'll take the bid, but we will also say if you do win something that if I don't hear from you, it will go to a um, second chance offer, okay? Because you are new and I don't want to hold up the whole night. Um, so feel free to bid. And then if, if I can't contact you, it'll just go to second chance. I think that's fair. What do you guys say? You like it? I like it. I think it's just a very clean approach. Not a lot of distraction, not a lot of time wasted. Um, and welcome. <laughs> You're definitely welcome. Um, Christina is on a hat. Oh, yes, on a hat band. Yes. I was watching Antiques Roadshow today and someone had a platinum and diamond on Tremblant um, dragonfly that it was a pin, but it was a, it, you could take the pin portion out and put a hairpin in so you could wear it in your hair on your head. It was the most incredible thing. And it was valued at $40,000. Yeah, that was a fun, that was a fun one. It was only like five minutes long. It's very fun. There you go. All right. So we are at 145. Yeah. I love the Haskells. I love, love, love the Haskells. They are special to me. Yeah. Look at that there, and that really shows it. All right, so Geo is, I think it's Geo. Geo 89 is at 160, and I will tease. Oh, of course, it's the last, because it's the last thing. It's on the very bottom. So, but I'm going to tease it. Guys, it is amazing. Here it is. It's a three piece Peror. Oh, it's what I used in the thumbnail. Look how fresh the pin, the, I'm being very slow with my hands because, you know, the earrings. Beautiful. And look at this. And that's starting at 800 tonight. That's the most expensive thing, but it's glorious. It is glorious. Look at the back. Wow, don't see that every day. Yeah, so that's the last thing in the auction. It's also got the highest starting bid. The starting bid is 800, but you know what these go for. Like it's actually really a great starting bid, you know? Um, and the consigner, agreed to it because she's a collector too, you know, or her family agreed to it because she is a collector or was a collector. Um, okay. So, oh, back to this. Are we calling it Sunday? I lost track. Christina Tonke is at 165. Yep, 
Crystal, Christina, is it 165? Thank you, Crystal. So I think we're going to call it 10. I'll, I'll start counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, sold to Christina Tonkey. Enjoy. Tis yours. It's a good one, Christina. Okay. To die for. Yeah, totally. Totally to die for. Yeah, mouth watering. Honestly, like you want to, yeah. you know. <laughs> You're welcome, Christina. <laughs> okay. So that was, oh, now I got to get back over to the order of things. So that was number 18. So now we're starting on earrings. And this is the first pair of delightful earrings. The starting bid on these is 150. They are like new, they are large. Oh my God, they're so great. Look at these. Like new, starting bid 150. Look at the rhinestones surrounding the pearls. These are beautiful on, these are actually we really wearable. There is the back. So it is the same. It's the Haskell clip with the adjustable screw. See that? So you can, so that they're always comfortable. There they are in amazing, fresh, minty, beautiful, bright gold condition. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. And they are signed. There it is right there. It's on the uh, on the clip itself. And is it also on the rivet? Sometimes it's also on the rivet. Let me check. Starting bid 150. They are beautiful. Yes, it's also on the rivet. And it is a great, perfect. Yeah, it's not coming through, but I know you guys know what it is. All right, so I'm going to put that on the clear holders carefully. Here, I'll just do one. Look at the size of it. That's so beautiful. Look. Starting bid 150. It is, yeah, it is. And if you're the only bidder, you might get it. There you are. They do have kind of an asymmetrical quality. That's how they look when they are on the ears. You see? Um, here, it's easier to see from the back, actually. See how they're sort of reversed? So there's kind of um, an asymmetrical look. So awesome. All right, so we'll put a few seconds on this. I'll put 30 seconds on this one. I need the clock. Where's the clock? Hold on, I'll find it. All right, 30 seconds on this. And then curious overall, is marked or unmarked Haskell more valuable? Totally case by case basis. The first thing that you always consider is condition. Here it is up close. You should probably see it up close. Um, condition always is um, the first thing you consider. The second thing is uh, the piece itself, the design, the complications, the size. Haskell had three different lines. They call them the A line, the B line, and the C line. The C line was more like the basics. Um, you know, if you find something from the A line that's really early, that's in perfect condition, that has no signature, that's probably really good. Um, if you find a set like that, it's probably better. You know, I mean, it just keeps going. If you find something that's iconic or has provenance. Um, uh, let me get rid of this clock now. Okay. So we're going to pass on this one. All right. Also, feel free, guys. You can always um, email me if uh, you want to try and snap it up before someone else. If it's a pass, um, we can talk about it. Um, okay, so that was number 19. And now, number 20 is 
also amazing. These are starting at 150. Oh, okay, these are good. These are starting at 150. Look at those. There's the back. La la. These are large. These are wonderful. Yeah, non-buyer's remorse. I know that's what happened to me. It's, I, I think it's happened to all of us. So look how beautiful. These are starting bid 150. Like that. No, fabulous, fabulous Haskells. And we'll put a little clock on this. We're moving fast. Oh, can't find the clock again. Hold on. Where is it? There it is. Okay. We'll give this a minute so you guys can think about it. Um, I'll get it on the earring holder. And everything's so wonderful. There you go. Oh, hi, Glenda. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love your name, Glenda. I always think of the, um, what did I do here? Hold on. <laughs> I always think of the good witch in the Wizard of Oz. Look at the sparkle. We'll see these. These are great for wedding. These are really lovely. All right, countdown, getting to the clock. All right, passing on those. And coming up next is dun, 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 another pair of earrings. Oh, I started these at 175. Oh, this is why. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the sparkle. They really, these are really good. These are good ones. Okay, let me hold it the right way so that you can see. Um, these have the most interesting backs. I haven't seen Haskell backs like this before. I'll show them to you. Let me let me grip it. This is starting bid 175. Look at the shimmer. These are these are a thousand times, you know, with certainty worth this. Look, look at the shimmer in them. Amazing. They're like tendrils. And look how cool the back is. I've never seen a back like that. It's like smooth cut out almost like diamond work or something look isn't that cool so yeah so these are starting at 175 magnificent put those on the earring holder put a clock on them this is good i like that you all have the preview in mind because you know what you're interested in and it's kind of a great communication you know, I can tell right away if you've been waiting for it or not, you know. So it really works well. I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep doing the previews there. Ta-da. Stunning. Stunna. It's a stunna. Highly collectible. Hi, Mishka. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, you know, you can watch it in the replay. We've all been very civil. It's been very nice. <laughs> there it is. Look at the shimmer. And then let me try and get, there's those there. They have like a dimensional thing. The Haskell always did that, kind of like the under wrap thing. They did that a lot. There's the back. All right, and moving on. Oop, gotta get to the, gotta get to the clock. Where's the clock? There it is, okay. All right. And yeah. Okay, so that was 21. 22, we are starting at 75. And these are fabulous as well. The Haskell Scrolls, starting bid 75. There's the back. Right there, la la, starting bid 75. 
and that's what they look like. Yep, really beautiful. I'll get them on the, oh, let me measure them. These are two inches long by one and almost one and a half inches wide. And that's like a little red cab. See, very nice. Nan is, oh, Jackie bid 75, Nan bid 80. I will get this on earring holder, the earring stand. These are lovely. The bright, the, the bright is gold. The gold is bright. I'm going to get more and more silly as the night goes on. <laughs> Haskell is like crack. It really is. Look. So nice. <laughs> oh, there it is like that. I know everyone's used to seeing things with the, the uh, always ever present hand behind it. Yeah, really beautiful. Here, I'll put the pillow behind it. So nice. Yeah. I don't want to stop doing this. <laughs> wow, 109 people. Thank you, everyone, for coming tonight. Great way to spend a Sunday night, in my opinion. But I know I really do appreciate your spending your time, you know. Um, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do, because I enjoy it. Look, there's the back. Right? And it's not reflecting, it's, it's reflecting odd colors, but it's nothing but gold. See, you can see there, nothing but gold. It's picking up some kind of blue from the screen. Here they are. All right, so I believe it is 95 to Nan. All right, sold. Enjoy these. And if another piece comes up, you'll have first bids always. Um, where did I put my post-its? Oh, there they are. Wow, that was a good deal. That was a very good deal. All right. Okay, something really special is about to show. Um, very, very special. Ooh la la. This is an old one. It's embellished. The starting bin on this is 175. These um, people understand these because there have been, I think there's one on first dibs right now that doesn't have the seed pearls. It just has the rhinestones. Look at that. Starting bid 175. It is a bright gold odd reflections. There you are. Rosemontes. Spectacular. Two die four. Two die four. Look at the, the way that it's done. Is this unsigned? Oh, I think this is an unsigned one. It's probably specified in the preview. Yes, this is an early, this is very early. That's why it's unsigned. It's spectacular. The starting bid is 175. I have no problems keeping this one. Oh, yeah, it's okay, Jen. Jen is so good. Jen is really, really good. Um, if you guys don't know Jen yet, you will. She's really good. <laughs> She's an academic and a jewelry collector, and she enjoys the research and she does videos. So there you have it. There they are. See the pearls? Starting bid 175. And let's see if we have any bids. I'm going to put it on the pillow. Maybe start the clock. There it is. Look at that beautiful thing.
Isn't that wonderful? There's the, the pearls. This is very old. Really, really beautiful. All right. And I don't see, I wonder if I am, um, I'm not seeing any comments. This is really weird. Let me get to the clock, get the clock up and go back. Oh, there we are. Okay. All right. Taking the clock away. <laughs> All right. We have a bid. And Jackie Wire says 175. Yeah, it's so special. It's divine. Look at the details in the gold, the uh, the etching there. You see that? And the rhinestones are slightly different shades. That's on purpose. They're variated or alternating, I should say. They're alternating. Look at that. Look at how it's woven. And you can find one online with no pearls for more money than this right now. Also unsigned. These are, this is rare. This is not an everyday thing. Oh, are you lagging again, Jackie? Um, uh, I don't know how to fix that. I think the best thing to do is just, well, make sure you're in live chat. At the very top of the chat, make sure you're in live. And then you can always like pop out and pop back in. That People say that that helps. Um, it happened to me once. I couldn't believe it. It was like trying, it was like going through a time portal. I left and I came back and it was like a totally different part of the conversation. It was the weirdest feeling. Um, I think I'm just going to call it for Jackie because she's lagging and why not? Done. Sold. Enjoy. First bid. Score. Score, score, score. If you, when you watch this, which will be in a minute. <laughs> oh, you can see it. Oh my God. Congratulations. Special, very, very, very special. Okay, uh, Jackie. Yay, Jackie. All right, now everyone's gonna say they're laggy. <laughs> All right, next one is a killer. It's a large one starting at 120. And oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, wow. Okay, just look at it. Look at that. It starts at 120. Oh, and where do I begin? It's got the pearls. It's got all the perfect gold. It's got crystals that are sewn in, as well as the Rose Montes and the rhinestones. You see them? They're kind of like sewn in there. Look, they, they shimmer a little. Starting bit on this is 120. It is signed. There you go. Look at it. It's huge. It's so easy to wear. <laughs> it's so easy to wear. You could put it, you could make it a pendant. It's spectacular. It's, it's spectacular. Oh my God. Look at it. Look at, look at the dimension of it. All the different layers, like the pearl tucked under there. Like, where do you see jewelry like this? No place else. There you go. All right. I'll put it on the pillow and I'll put it, I'll, I'll just show it next to the pillow. There you go. Size wise. There you go. Oh la la. Look at the colors, the fire, the filigree. It's such an obvious Haskell too. It's like everyone will know. Um, also you, you could do that. You know, you could figure out like the best. It's so hard to do this backwards. I'm just gonna look down. There you go. Like that, like that, like that. Like that, like it's just endless on a chain. If you hung it from a chain, um, this, this is, it would be vertical. So it would look like that, which is amazing. Ooh, oh my gosh. Yeah, really great. Um, 
Yeah, it's a beautiful one. I know it's really stunning. Really, really stunning. And so perfect. Look at the filigree in the back. See the shine? Just so perfect. Yeah. Oh, let me measure it. Totally forgot. I was blinded. <laughs> okay, the length is two and a half inches by two inches, a tiny bit under two inches. So two and a half by just under two. Ooh, la, la. There you go. Oh, let's see. Uh, I got earrings. I've been hesitating to list. They look, uh, oh, yeah. Yes, I can evaluate. I can evaluate and um, tell you if it is actually Haskell or not. Um, I curated the collection of the wife, the, uh, the woman of the family that was in the Haskell organization for four decades. Interestingly, you guys were talking at some point during the week, you guys were talking about organizing jewelry and she used a dental cabinet, you know, an old fashioned dental cabinet for all of her, her entire jewelry collection, you know, it was huge. And it had all these little pockets and things, you know, and drawers and compartments. And she was known for walking through the factory and picking stuff up and putting it in her pocket. <laughs> so you can imagine. There you go. There, you can really see the Rosemontes there. They're just hitting the light perfect. The light is tough at this time of night. Look. There you go. See that? It's almost like a comet. It's like a floral or a comet. All right, Jen, is it 150? I am going to remove the Russian. <laughs> Hilarious. I know. She really did that. Thought I removed it. Maybe it's just super slow blocking. All right, we are blocking. All right. Oh, someone else must have gotten it first. Okay, so we are at 150. Any other bids? Look, yeah, look at the flash, the pop, the pop and flash. You know, effortlessly. 150 is the high bid, fantastic high bid, total steal. Do we hear 155? We have 150, do we hear 155? 150 is the bid to beat. There it is, turned the other way. You can wear it any way you want. And I'm starting to count it down, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, and sold. Jennifer Cuevas for 150. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're going to love it and you're going to get addicted <laughs> because it, has, it is like crack. <laughs> The only other jewelry that I've ever come across that does that, it's always, it's Haskell and Chanel, you know, like you get it and you just, you know, you, you kind of like go a little crazy and you just want more. Okay. So next up we have the next tray. Oh, good. We're moving through. This is great. All right. And that is number 20. Oh. oh, I think I went a little bit out of order. That's okay. It doesn't matter. So this one's next. This is, I, I started this one. All right. This kills me. This, this absolutely kills me. I, 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 I know I'm never going to see it again. And I love it so much. The starting bit is 400. Oh, did something happen to Anna? Wait, let me double check it. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, Anna. Oh, you're cool. You're totally cool. We love you, Anna. I love you. And thank you. Thank you for popping in. Um, okay. So starting bit on this is 400. I don't even have to talk. It's the biggest one. It's the embellished one. It's the crest. It's got the lions. It's got the crown. It's got the pearl sewn in. It's in stellar condition. 
it's what I want. I mean, it's what everyone should want. The starting bit is 400. It's a steal at that. It's huge. It's like five inches long or something. Um, yeah, it's beyond. This is one of the stars of the night, in my opinion. I'm, I, all right, I got to get a grip. <laughs> it is amazing. And it's a forever piece. Oh, it's four inches long. Excuse me. It's four inches long. And it is three and a quarter inches wide. It's got the Maltese cross. It's got the crown. It's got the rhinestones under the crown. Here, let me show you the sparkle. There they are. The light isn't really picking up the sparkle, but it is sparkly right there. There's the pearls, the seed pearls, all wound around. And then there's the back. You can see the pearls wound through. There's the signature. This is also on first dibs right now. I would put this on a bat. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Imagine this on a purse, on a coat lapel, on a hat, a Russian hat. Oh my God. Uh, look, look, look at the way the pearls are raised on the crown. All right, we're gonna give it a minute. Don't wanna belabor it. Um, one minute on this guy. Oh gosh. There you go. There's the back. 400. There you go. 30 seconds left. I'll show it to you over the pillow. It's kind of funny. <laughs> there it is over the pillow. <laughs> and then look at the top of the crown. Like everything is so awesome and perfect. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nan's in for 400. Okay. Let me get rid of this. Oh my God, Nan. Oh my God. You are going to lose your mind. You are going to lose your mind. Do I hear 405? We have 400. Do I hear 405? Nan's going to end up selling this back to me someday. I know it. <laughs> She's going to want my consultation. <laughs> I'll be like, hmm, <laughs> look at it. Look. Look at it like as a breastplate. Like it's so incredible. Oh, my God. On a lapel of a blazer, like a big shoulder. Blazer. You know, those like blazers with like the Balenciaga shoulders or with strands of pearls, you know, like Chanel. Look at it. It's the best one. It's the best one ever. All right. Do I hear 405? Counting it down. I'm going to count down from 10 now. 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh, my God, Nan. 6, <laughs> 5, <laughs> 4. This is going to go for $400. 3, 2, 1. Sold. Okay, everyone... I hope everyone's going to be talking about that tomorrow. $400. Congratulations, Nan. Congratulations. Congratulations. And I encourage insurance. <laughs> okay. Um, where do you go from there? All right. All right. So the next one is. Number 24, starting bid 250. Oh, yes. Okay. This is starting bid 250. This is like a Victorian style. There's the back of it. It's exquisite. I want to show the back first because you can see it's almost like a nouveau. Um, and it's such a bright and beautiful gold. See? And then there's the front starting bid on this is 250. The gold is not showing. I, oh, if I hold it back, you can see it. There it is. Yeah. See how great the gold is? For some reason, when I hold it closer, it doesn't quite pick it up. But it's such a bright, perfect Russian gold. There you go. There's the cartouche. 
And then there's that starting bit 250, kind of an Art Nouveau, little dangling pearls. They're not perfect. They were never perfect. They were not supposed to be perfect. Oh, it almost looks like a heart. Yes. Oh, Mishka's already in for 250. Mish is in for 250, everyone. Look at it. It's outrageous. Oh, it's also got the little um, seed pearls. This is embroidered. Like these are wound on the same way that they wind crystals onto chandeliers. Seriously, it's the same technique. Look at it tracing around the sides. There it is from the side. It's got lots of height, lots of movement. This on a Russian hat would be incredible. Uh, another piece to die for. The length is big. <laughs> the length is the width. The width is big. It's a biggie. Um, and I'm holding the thing upside down. Okay, it is three inches by two and a half. And it's fantastic because it has like a symmetry in the shape of it, but then it's it's not symmetrical in the way that it's beaded. So it's, it's beautiful. It's one of those, like, you can't quite figure out. I don't even have to put it on the pillow. Look at that. Yeah. 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 Ooh, it almost looks like a winged heart. It's so special. It's very nouveau. Oh, you're welcome, Nan. Get ready to die. Just, you're, you're just going to lose your mind. Honestly, you, you're going to, if you don't flip out, send it back. I'm dead serious. If you don't flip out over that pin, you just send it right back. Um, it's a it's a flipper outer. I don't think I've ever said that before. There it is on the pillow, 250. All right, counting it down. 10, 9, 8. Counting it down for Mish. 7, 6, 5, 4. Oh. Three, two, one, sold. Yay, Miska. I don't know if it's your first Haskell. If it is, you'll you're gonna you'll be hooked. Okay, moving on. Oh my goodness. Oh, the next one's also very 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 good. The next one's also. This is one that I know you guys have seen in the books and things. It's easier to understand. Um, it's multicolor. It's also got like crossover and the figurals. It's got a clover made out of hearts and a horseshoe. I'll also show this from the back first so you can really see. The starting bit on this one is also 250. It's incredible. There it is. There's the gold. See, now you can see the gold. And when I turn it over, look at what it does. Jonquil, giant gold, not gold, yellow, like that yummy gold, um, golden yellow, like frozen lemonade color in the hearts. Florals, multicolor. It's like a good luck. It's magnificent. So many layers, such perfect condition, so many colors, everything you want in a Haskell right there. Show it to the side. There it is. Show it to the other side. And then the starting bit on this is 250. There it is. Hi, Gina. Everyone, Gina's in the house. There you go. Jackie says 250. It's a score. It's a steal for that. It's very collectible. It's a very um, well-known kind of this horseshoe. Uh, it, to me, it's a crescent. To me, it's like a good luck thing because it's also the hearts that make a clover and everything. So to me, it's very much like supposed to be good luck. But it also references the horseshoe shape of the plaques that were used. So it's kind of easy for collectors to understand, you know, when in a wider market, look at it. Jackie wire says 260. I'll put it in front of the black. I feel like whispering. <laughs> there you go. There you can kind of see it there in the black. Yeah. Now you can really see the colors. Look at those colors. Look at them. 
the giant hearts that make the clover, the three leaf clover. Ooh la la. So special. I'm going to put it, actually, I'll put the pin back through the pillow itself. So you can see. Okay. There you go. Did I measure it yet? It's big. I don't know. Let me measure it. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm going to lose my mind. Tonight's the night Dawn finally loses her mind. <laughs> it is over two inches wide. It's like two and a quarter. And then the height of it is like two and a quarter. So has a nice balance. Yeah, it's the aesthetic. But to me, it's the soul. They have a soul. Every single piece has a soul. You can tell it was really made. It's like, you know, it was a jewelry company, but everything was made at home by the people. You know, the women, they would get the fine, they would get the pieces and then they would make them at home and bring them back in. You know, such a lovely story. Look at that. Look at the pink start sparkling. Yeah. And then we'll show the back again. The back's perfect. I'll show you the back without with the pin open. There you go. Divine. Puffy, perfect, like new, divine, divine. Oh, wow. High bid 285. Is that the best thing there? Is there jewelry? No, I always notice jewelry first, I think. I mean, you know, people, it's just like a human trait, right? I love jewelry. I dream jewelry, you know, so I look at jewelry. I know some people look at shoes. Some people look at purses. Some people look at hair, you know. Some people look at, I don't know, a car or a watch. For me, it's this. <laughs> um. Okay, so uh, for nature's sake, is at two ninety worth it? Really highly. This is a really collectory one. Like this has the crossover. You know, value wise, I know I didn't really talk about the value, but I think you guys understand it because you are bidding accordingly for the value. There, you can really see the shimmer there. There, that's actually a pretty accurate depiction of what the rhinestones do in real life. See, see the life, the life. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Okay, so Jackie is at two ninety five. Um, let's see. Do we hear three hundred? Are we going to hit the three hundred mark? Right now, we are at two. For nature's sake is at 300. Do I hear three or five? I'm going to move it in. I'm going to move it in. I'm going to try and move it up. I know it's something. It's not. I know it's something to consider. I know that you need time to consider. But also, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose my brain again. So, and I want to get through everything. Actually, we're moving pretty good. To be honest, we're doing pretty good. It's going to be okay. There you go. So, for nature's sake, is it 300? Do I hear 305? Oh, I'll drink. And I have almonds too. <sighs> okay, put it back on the pillow. Jackie's at 3.05. Oh, I should have taken the chocolate. I didn't take any of the chocolate. Darn it. It's like right behind me. So close, <laughs> but so far away. <laughs> okay, there's this wonderful once in a lifetime Haskell in fiery new mint condition at 3.05. Oh, this would be great on a hat too. Yeah. 305. Do I hear 310? Jackie says 305. Does for nature's, does Kim, I'm just going to say Kim. What do you say, Kim? Would you like to go to 310 or are you going to say out? Out. Okay. Congratulations, Jackie. 
Yay, Jackie, congratulations. And Kim, hang around because there's something here for you. I just know it. 305, okay. Oh, I should, yeah. There are a few Jackies, so. All right. Ooh la la. Ooh la 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 la. Okay, I'm gonna take an extra, just give me a few extra seconds to put it away carefully, okay? It's it's lasted this long. Okay. Next up was number 28. This is interesting. This I included the short one because it's the way that it came from the estate. She had these together and I just wanted to honor that. This is not a Haskell. See, not a Haskell. This is a Haskell, this one. It's a longer one. There is the cartouche hanging and the famous clasp. These clasps are great. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these, but they're, they're, they're like ear clips and clasps were so well thought out. Like I wish I, all of them were like this. This is so cool. Cause you just, it's like pressure. You just push it and you're in, you know? So anyway, the starting bit on these for both is 150 um, and you get both and it's as worn by the estate, but this is not a hassle. Okay. So starting bid 150 on these, they are stunning. Um, I'll put them on the, oh, let me measure first. The one that is a Haskell is they just, they do look really good together. It's a uh, 36 inches. And then the one that's not is 16. So, and I'll show you what they look like on starting bit on this is 150. And oops, kind of long for the neck. Hold on a second. There it is, doubled. And then see, this is what it would look like. I'm sure this is how she wore it. It's so beautiful. See that? And the beads are exactly the same. It wouldn't surprise me if maybe it was something that was restrung or whatever, but I am not calling it a Haskell. Um, it is no longer a Haskell if it was, but the beads are exactly the same. So there you have it. And we'll put 30 seconds on this. Finding the clock. All right, we'll give it 30 seconds. We'll see if anyone bids. There is the clasp right there. Oh, that's that worked out well. Serendipitous. All right, counting down 10 more seconds and then I'll go back and see if we have a bid. Oh, there's still so many beautiful things to get to. All right, let's go back. And Christina Tonke is in for 150. All right, we have 150. Do we hear 155? Anyone in the house would like to bid 155? 150 is the bid to beat. Do I hear 155? 150, counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, sold to Christina Tonke. Congratulations, Christina. You're gonna love this one too. All right. And, oh, that's everything. We went through that trade. Oh my goodness. Okay. This next one is extremely special. I'm just gonna tell you right now. It starts at 400. Oh, there's all the ones behind me. Okay, I'll do this one and then I'm so out of order. That's okay, you guys don't seem to mind. No one's called me on it. So I'm gonna show this one. This is another one, like Dawn wanted to keep this one. Look at the glow. You can really see, it has kind of a glow to it, like a moonstone or something, but it's this faceted red glass, dog tooth. There's the gold. Six. Look at the gold, look at the shine on the gold. It is that perfect. Um, this is six strands black. Rondell's crystals, it's a choker. There is the back. There's the little 
hang and clack. The starting bit on this is 400. It comes with earrings, matching earrings. It is to die for. Let me show you the earrings. Well, wait, okay, all right. I'm gonna put it on the neck. I'm gonna exhale. It's an adjustable, this will fit anyone. It has the adjustable beads. So it's gonna fit the smallest person up to the biggest person. Look at it. There you go. That is magic. And then if that wasn't enough, hold on. If that wasn't enough, it has the matching earrings. Let me open them up. There they are. Starting bid, 400. Perfect, everything's perfect. Um, two die four. Oh my God, Sunday, you're amazing. How do you do that? Because I totally forgot all the things behind me. I do get, I think I get a little buzzed. I think this is really like, <laughs> I'm not afraid to say it. Look. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put my hair up just to show you the choker. It's so good. Okay. And it's huge. I mean, look, look at the size of the center piece. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think I'm stuck on the comments again. Either that or everyone's holding their breath and not, they're not saying anything. <laughs> Someone buy this so we can take pictures. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's a great idea, Emily. Ta-da. See what's going on with the glass? 400. Amazing. It is seriously amazing. It is seriously amazing. There, I'm trying to figure out the light. It is to die. It is. It's dying. I know. I'm dying too. I'm dying with you. I'll never see anything like this again. I know that. I'm gonna have it on video at least. Look. <laughs> and this will look good on you forever. You know, we all look good in the chokers for as long as we live. I'm gonna measure it just for fun. Um, I'll give you the longest, totally adjustable. Yeah, it's amazing. 400 is nothing for this. 19, yes, 1940s, but like new. Could be 50s. I would say 45 to 55 to be on the safe side. So it is a total of 16 inches. So there you have it. And it's a choker. So anybody with up to a six, look, look at it with the red to the side. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, I love. <gasps> okay. You guys are getting a minute on this one. <laughs> You are getting a minute, I'm putting on a minute, and then um, it's a pass, okay? Everybody gets a chance, including me. You guys get a minute. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Oh, Anna's in for 400, oh my God. Anna, you're, you're right, you're not wrong, Anna. You're absolutely right. I know for you, it's an investment um, and it's a good investment too. So we have Anna in for 400. Do I hear 405? Do I hear 405? Uh, oh, I don't need the clock anymore. Let me get rid of the clock. Wow. All right, we are at 400. 400 is the bid to beat, counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay, Geo is at 405. 
Let me measure the centerpiece. I didn't do that. The centerpiece is uh, two and a half inches long by one and a half inches wide and it rises up half an inch. It has a half an inch, almost a half an inch in height on that glass. Amazing. So we are at 405. 405 is the bid to beat. Do I hear two? Okay. Vintage jewelry galore. Vintage jewelry, vintage jewelry galore. The fantastic channel, vintage jewelry galore. The uh she is at 410. Everyone check out Vintage Jewelry Galore. If you are new here, there's a bunch of new people here. You will love Vintage Jewelry Galore. Anna is delightful. There it is. We are at 420. Geo is at 420. Do I hear 425? There it is with the rondelles and the crystals and the perfectness. There it is up close. Everything is perfect. We are at 420. Do I hear 425? Yeah, there, look at it from the back. Look at the construction. Everything is perfect. It is six strands. There you go. A fabulous piece will only increase in value. Do I hear 425? Starting to count down for Geo 89 at 420. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, Anna, let me know if you're out. Anna, let me know if you're in or out. Vintage Julie Galore says 425. Thank you, Anna, for the bid. 440, Geo has bumped it up to 440. Still spectacular. This would be, honestly, this would be spectacular at 800. Um, I love it to the side. I think I'm in, I'm in love with it like that. We are at 425 and Anna is out. So ooh, who's in? Is someone else in? We have an auction, 440. 440, counting it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, going once. 440 is the bid to beat. Do I hear 445? 6, 5, 4, 3, going twice. 2, 1, sold. That was the one to have. I agree with you, Gio. I absolutely agree with you. That is, this was one of the ones to have. Congratulations. It's yours at 440. Make sure I have your info so you'll get to keep it. Okay. If not, it'll go to second offer. Um, Gio. I need your YouTube name, your email, and the country that you live in. Go 89 Congratulations, <laughs> killer, killer diller. All right, now I'm gonna go to the things behind me. And here they are in their special case. This is a beautiful, this is a wonderful group. We have some pre-bids on these. Ooh. Okay. So, this is number 29. Yes, number 29. This is the pearl necklace with rhinestone and pearl drop. The starting bid on this is 225, an absolute steal. It's spectacular. Um, again, I don't have to talk. Look at the Haskell pearl. Look at the pendant. Look at the colors in it. Look at the back of it. Starting bid on this is 225. That's nothing. Okay, nothing. There's the clasp. The pearls are like new. The amazing Haskell pearls, little crystals thrown in. Let me get it on the neck. Oh, I have to put the earrings with the choker. Hold on. Putting this on the neck. Starting bid, 225. 
right. And yes, okay. All right. And I remember the pre bid now for the other one. All right. Let me check the comments. Okay. Mish is in for 225. Spectacular Mish. It's a good choice. It is very, very good. Let's get that up close for you. There you go. I mean, it's a good one. This is a really good one. This is one to have. Um, there's the back of it. Like that. Look at the pearls. Look at everything. It's so good. The size of the rhinestones. The way that it's constructed. The drop. The back. This is wonderful. Jackie says 230. Um, this on a V neck or on a turtleneck or just with anything really, it is so mind boggling. Look at it. That Russian gold. I don't have to talk. I know, I don't, and there is that wrap, there's that detail where they tuck under. I love how they do that. Look at that little flower, the green center with the pink rhinestones around it. Ooh, la la. Scrumptious. Everything's back. I can't, I can't center things tonight to save my life. There we go. Look at that. Okay. And then here, I'll put it on the neck. And then if earrings show up, oh my God, can you imagine? And they might. She was a real collector. Look at that. That's it, man. That's it. That's a good Haskell right there. We have 230. Do I hear 235? Yes, the Haskell pearls, they're uh, they're just famous. They're they're known for their pearls. Jane says 240. They're glass, they're coated. Um, sometimes they can be. They can be plastic with certain things, heavy things, later things. Um, but these are the famous ones. This is they 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 have a look to them that's not quite Baroque. Um, when they were writing the Haskell book, one of the authors said the first time she saw it, she thought it was a mistake. But that is in fact what a Haskell pearl looks like. 240. Jane says 240. It is a good one. There's, I want you to really be able to see, I don't think the light tonight is doing this justice. It was, well, you could see it in the preview. There you go. All right, it's a killer. It's absolutely a killer. It's a stunner. Um, you know, I'm surprised the people that sell things on first bids aren't, first dibs aren't here because this is a lot more on first dibs. Not that we talk about that. We don't talk about that. <laughs> there you go. Magnificent. Oh, let me measure it. Sorry. Measuring. The measurement is. Um, okay, so eight and a half in the pearls and then the drop is about two and a quarter in the drop. This is in the same family as the amber one that I showed last time. Oh, I'm gonna open it up and just hold it up just for a second. It's worth it. Oh yeah, there you go. If that's not a good Haskell, I don't know what is. We know each other well enough for this. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do it backwards too, so I'm making a mess of it. There you go. Look at that. Okay. Jane says 275. Jackie says 280. Yeah, it's different on the skin. You can really tell. There you go. It's to die for. It's to die for. There's just, that's what it is. Up close. Turning it over. 
Look at that. Yeah. There's the pearls. They are like new. They're even tight. Like the like the strand itself still has that tight feel. You know, I don't know if this was ever worn. There they are. There it is. All right, we are at 285. Do I hear 290? 285 is the bid to beat. I am going to start counting down. Jackie is at 290. Do I hear 295? 290. Do I hear 295? Um, let us know, Jane, if you want to go to 295 for this. It is very special. Um, 10. I'll, I'll start. Oh, Jane's at 295. Do I hear 300? The magic number at 300. Out. Mitch is out. Okay. I think, was that it? Was it Mitch? I thought it was Dan for some reason. Jackie? Christina? Oh, I totally lost track. Sunday? Are you still there? Sunday? All right. Counting it down. I don't know who else was bidding, so I'm just going to count it down now for Jane at 295. 10, 9, 8, Seven, let me get it on video before it goes away forever. Six, five, four, three, two, one, sold. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jane. I know you've been, Jane, everyone, just so you know, Jane's been looking forward to this for a very long time. <laughs> okay. All right. Congratulations. Okay. All right, now we're changing gears. We're gonna go to the four piece gray pearl. There is a, um, a pre-bid on that. Let me double check and make sure I know what it is. Uh, uh, uh. Number 32, the starting bid for number 32 is 450. Okay, so we have someone in at 450 already for these. It's a four piece. All right. And it's incredible Haskell gray pearls. It's in an Art Deco style. It has these um, Comet Argente crystals. That's the name of that crystal. These are crystals after marcosites. Um, some of them are missing. It does not detract. Okay, it's four pieces. You can have it worked on. It's very long. It's very beautiful. Four fifty is the starting bid on all four pieces. So it's the neck, right? The bracelet. Oh, let me move this. All right, that's need more room. Yeah, it's too long. Okay, so. It's the necklace, the bracelet, the pin. Look at that pearl. And the deco earrings. The earrings are to die for. And these, this is not perfect condition. There are some little crystals missing um, from, there's one missing from the earring in my opinion, does not detract. Okay, we have 455, so our pre-bid has already, so we are at 460. Let me double check the pre-bid. Yeah, so we are at 460 right now. If anybody wants to bid 465 for all three, look how stunning. It's like Deco Haskell. You know, if you're in a wedding, look at it. And then this is the necklace. Look at the big size of the pearls. I'm gonna put it on. I can't help myself. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Ooh. All right. So yes, it is, right now it is the top bidder is, okay, I think that this is 1970s, does Deco. You know, maybe 65 to 75. 
going by the, I think that, yeah. So I'm going to say 65 to 75 going by the color of the gray Baroque. There you go. There they are. There's the necklace. And then there's also the brooch. Isn't that amazing? And the bracelet. And then there's the back of the bracelet. There is, look at it, it has a safety. There's the cartouche. Everything is signed. Absolutely wonderful. I love the length of this. It's really beautiful, um, you know. And then, and I mean, it just doesn't stop. I mean, she has the entire, the entire thing. So we are at four sixty. Do I hear four sixty five? I'm going to start counting it down. Four sixty five is the bid to beat. Ten, nine. Sorry about my louse. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight. Seven, it is an amazing set. It is an amazing set. Six, going once. Um, five, going twice. Four. There it is up close, that deco style. Three, two, one, sold to the private bidder. Congratulations, you're here, I know you are. So congratulations, well done. For what was it? 460, 465. Oh, Alyssa just, sorry, Alyssa. You came in a little bit too late. I'm so sorry. Um, sold to the absentee bidder at 460. When the bell is rung, the bell is rung. It's the fun of the auction. All right. Next. Next, next, next. Let me make sure. I think I'm just going to put this in here with these put this back in its little home. There's a lot of pieces there. Okay, this is also incredible. This is very long. Look how long this is. This is the starting bid on this one was, uh-oh, the springs. Hold on. I have to get it right because it was all done with the consigner. Long. Um, Okay, starting bid on this is only 200. That's why I wanted to double check it. That's low, that's great. Look at this. Starting bid on this is 200. It has rhinestone um, spray stations. It's in perfect condition. It's beautiful. Here's the clasp. I would also say 65 to 75 on this one. Maybe not, maybe 55 to 75. This one's not as clear. Um, there, there they are. There's the backs of them. Really incredible design on this one. You can double it. The starting bit is nothing. Look at that. And this is one of those where the earrings might pop up. I adore this. This is so special. It's not going to fit on the neck. Maybe I'll try doubling it. Starting bid on this is 200. Here we are. Yeah, that doesn't really do it justice, does it? You can kind of see it, but the spray gets lost behind, see? So really it's, I, you just, I just need a bigger body. <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> I need a, a longer necklace bust. There we are. Okay, look at it. There they are. Let me give you a tour. So here's the tour. So starting with the clasp and then moving down the sprays. This has a very deco quality. There you go. And then these are one slightly shorter than the other one. So it does make that layering thing. Beautiful to layer with other necklaces. Um, 
It's between Christina and Carol. It looks like, hi, Carol. Nice to see you tonight. Thank you for coming. It's a very fun night. This Things like this don't happen every day. I don't know if it'll ever happen again. So I'm glad everyone's here. Um, it's not your everyday auction, that's for sure. Look at it. The sprays, it's really beautiful design. Like every, like every Haskell, it's beautiful. You know, and a perfect design. We have that. There's the back. Okay, Christina. Oh, I love that these were constructed. Yeah, I know. And you could really have fun with this one too. I know there's ways to experiment in wearing this. I just know it. You know, you just got to figure it out. It's so beautiful. There you go. That really shows off the deco quality of it. Isn't that nice. And there's little there's little rondelles here too. Look look at the bottom layer. There's little rondelles interspersed, all knotted in between. Really pretty. See them? Just little little accents. Carol says two twenty five. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Don't look, Dawn. Yeah. Yeah, and I put this on backwards. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, everything's backwards in front of this camera. So that was pretty effortless. There you go. That's also beautiful. That shows it. That shows what's going on. It's a magnificent, magnificent thing. I don't have to talk. I really don't. I don't have to talk. Yeah, it's a hassle. It's an amazing night. It's an amazing night. This is a high point for me. This is one of the high points of my entire collecting career, I think. I'm pretty sure. So there you have it. All right. So we are at 2.30. I'm going to start counting it down. Um, Carol, let us know. Actually, I'll do it right. Carol, let us know. Okay, Carol is at 235. Um, 235. Do I hear 240? Let us know, Christina. Look at it on the wrist. It's just so nice. Oh, man. They're all so good. They're all so good in different ways. This has like a delicacy, like the sprays make a lot of like negative space. You know, it looks like they're floating. Christina says 240. I'll hold it in front of the bus so you can see what I mean. See, they have, they have like a floating feeling. Not nice. Um, Carol says 245. It's a total pleasure. I mean, and the thing about it is, Things like this only make me better at what I do. Like, you know, because this came to me, like it just increases my knowledge. Do you know what I'm saying? Like getting to handle all the different Haskells that I've handled all through the years. <gasps> oh my God, I love it like this. This is the way to wear it. Okay, that is, that's how I would wear this. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Turn it into a four strand choker. Just figure out how to do it. Look at that. Like with a ribbon. Oh my freaking God. I want to bid on this. I cannot. I cannot bid. Oh my God. Look at it. Okay. I'm going to put it in front of the neck like that. Okay. Wow. Okay, I have it twisted, hold on. I'm all excited. Okay, there we are. Okay, something like this. This is not the size of a real neck, this is a, but there you go. There. Look at how they play off of each other. It's like sprays of diamonds. Love, stunning, crazy, 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 crazy good. This is crazy good. Okay. 
Carol said 255. Oh, there's there, okay. And then Carol Murray is drilling. So there's several Carols. Christina Tonkey is out. So is it Carol Herringer? It's Carol Herringer. Sold. Is it? Is that okay? No, we'll count it down. We'll count it down. Okay. Counting it down. If anybody wants to come in, the bid to beat is 250. So looking for 255, 10, 9, 8, 7, going once, 6, Five, four, going twice, three, two, one, sold. Carol Herringer, you're first. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh my God. This is a good deal. This is a really good deal. Congratulations on this one. Um, what was it, 250? 255. Wow. Okay. All right. Putting that in a special place. Hold on. I'm going to put that back in this little drawer. All right. And I think I have, you know what, it's been a while. I know who you are, but just in case I can't find you just to expedite, if you wouldn't mind sending, resending, I would appreciate it because, you know, privacy compliance, things go away. Um, all right. So next up, oh my God, they just keep getting better. I started this one. I started this one at 250. I must've been out of my mind. Okay. This is a choker. Starting bid on this is 250. There's the gold. Amber crystals. It has like a shape to it. Like it's like it's it's like you know, like the round of the choker. You know how chokers do that? There you go. Like, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that these are all slightly, the bottom one is slightly longer than the middle and the middle is slightly longer than the top. So it makes that perfect circle. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like perfectly rounded, like a real choker. Starting bid 250, two die for, oh, I'll show you the back of it. There it is. Perfectly constructed. Wonderful pearls, tiered. <laughs> yes, yeah, they're tiered. They're tiered strands, you know, they're just, but ever so slightly. So you would only know when it makes the diameter around a neck. It is spectacular. I'm going to put it on the bust and I'm going to drool over it with everybody else. I just realized how my hair looks. It's like, I don't even care. <laughs> I'm in Haskell land. Then I'll measure it after I get it on there. Okay, so that's an example of how it looks. I think that kind of speaks for itself, don't you? Is everyone in agreement here? Let me, wait, I'll move the mic, okay. Hold on, I'm trying to get it. There we are. Okay, tucking it in. There we are. Yeah, it's in a shadow. It's in some weird shadow. Oh, is Barb here now? Hey, Barb. So happy you're here. Look at this. Starting bid 250. I think it's because I moved the light. I was trying to get the light so that I could see better and not be blinded so fast because my eyes wear out. And I changed the jewelry suffered, but there you go. I think you all know what it is anyway, because you're all bidding. It's very special. Oh, I'll show you the back. There, it, okay, let me spin it around. Hold on, I'll do a spin. Okay, there we are. Spinning, spinning. The amber colored beads. And then the center piece has the seed beads wired, you know, like that chandelier effect. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful size. It's stunning on. It's remarkable. I'm going to measure everything now, okay? So here's the center piece, just so you know, for scale. There it is on the pillow. So it's a biggie. But still delicate and beautiful. And... Um, 
Okay, measuring, measuring. All right, so the centerpiece is two inches by one and a half. And then the choker itself, it's gonna be standard. It's gonna be up to 16, probably, I'm imagining. I know, yeah, it's a special, I mean, these are all very special pieces. There's no filler, there's no filler here. Yeah, okay, up to, this one is actually up to 15 and a half. Thank you, Carol, for resending, awesome. Thank you so much, there it is. There it is on the side. I really like these side things, I'm into this. Anyway, there it is. Okay, so what's the top bid? I think top bid is 300. We are looking for 305. I'm, my hair. I'm going to put it back. Okay. <laughs> All right. 300 is the bid to beat. Christina has 300. Do we hear 305? Also, there they are. All embroidered on. Perfectly um, wired. You know, like it's if, if, if you could sew with wire, that's the epitome of a Haskell. Like that's the soul of a Haskell right? So it is, it's regal. It's regal. And look at the color of the amber crystals, that amber crystal color. So beautiful. So it's like a citrine, topaz, ambery crystal. So 300, looking for 305, counting it down, 10, 9, 8, going once, 7, 6, 5, going twice. Jackie Wire is at 305. Um, we are at 305. Christina, let us know if you want to go to 310. Thank you, everyone, for your patience tonight. We are getting there. All of these things are finding homes. Jackie Wire is at 305. Christina, let us know. <laughs> Sunday says, we have 305. Christina Taki is at 310. It is very special. It is worth it. It is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Um, it is to die for. Here is the back right there. Look at it. Like it was made yesterday. There it is without the shadow. That's the actual color of the Russian gold. Look at the crystals. Jackie Wire is at 315. Um, do I hear 320? We are at 315. Christina is at 320. Thank you for your bids, everyone. I know that you will enjoy it, whoever gets it. And I know that you will be happy for each other. Whoever doesn't get it. So we are at 320. Do I hear 325? I'm going to enjoy looking at it while I can. <laughs> Here it is on Dawn <laughs> on video forever. <laughs> Here it is on Dawn to the side, like the way that I would wear it. If it was mine, that's how I would wear it. I love it like that. This would look great even with pearl studs, gold hoops any kind of crystally thing that you have. So many, so many good ways to wear it. This is also for scale. We are at 325, Christina, time. look at the size of this thing. Look at that. We are at 325, oh, no, we are at 330. Christina Tonki is back in at 330. I will hold this in front of the pillow again. Let us know, Jackie, if you wanna to go to 335. There it is on the pillow. There's the height of it, stunning beyond measure, really stunning beyond measure. Never anything wrong with this. Um, if you are a vintage jewelry, Jackie is out. So sold to Christina Tonki for 330. Congratulations, Christina. All right. And what I wanted to say was Don Eternal on you. Yay. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Now I lost my train of thought. What was I writing? Oh yeah. 3.30. Okay, 3.30. Christina. Yeah, it is kind of like that, right? <laughs> when I'm 90, I can go back and be like, oh, let me look at myself in the Nashville choker. <laughs> All right. And I'll be the only one watching at that point. <laughs> and I'll be so happy. <laughs> All right. So the next one up is a bit of a mystery. This is um, I think these are real. There was a very short time period when Haskell was experimenting with using real elements. And I went to the trunk show in Bloomingdale's um, 
I think these are real. I'm not going to say they are, but I think they are. Anyway, they for a very short time, they were experimenting with you using real elements. I actually have a bracelet. I have one piece from that period. It's a bracelet with real rock crystal. This choker, the starting bid on this, it has matching earrings. It's spectacular. The starting bid on this is 300. Um, here we are. It is to die for. This is definitely faux. These might be not faux. They might be like freshwaters, but we'll call them faux. And then here's the earrings. This is a great set. The earrings alone any day. This is like a wedding set. The earrings alone any day. These are circa 1980s. So these really could be from that time period. I can tell by the stoppers. See that red stopper? That's so indicative of some of the 1980s jewelry, like from Givenchy and YSL. Look, see, I think those might be real pearls blended in. These are not, but these might be. But it doesn't matter. That's not why you're buying them. The starting bid for the set is 300. It's a killer set. It's a beautiful set. It's a delicate set. It's a feminine set. Um, it's really divine. It's an heirloom. It has a lot of beauty there's the there's the top of it with the rose montes it's really really lovely 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 um i don't know what other words to use for this one because it's easy to understand it's it's very nice um there it is let me do a little tour there's the back there you go there's the earrings Starting bit on this was 300. Yeah. I'm going to hold up the earrings. Oh, I'll, I'll show you the, uh, the back of the earrings. There you go. They are also perfect. There is the signature right there. And I'll get these on the earring holder tool. Oh, I said earring holder tool. The earring holder. There we are. Look, they're divine. I mean, on a good day, on a different, you know, if it wasn't an auction, these earrings would start at 300 or be 300 in a different auction platform. Um, look at them. All right. So I'll try and get it closer. Oh, I'll take it off the neck. That's what I'll do. And then I'll measure it. What are you guys saying? Yeah. There it is. See the detail? Look at that. There it is from the side. Another to die for piece. Just another amazing to die for Miriam Haskell choker. She loved her chokers. There's the back. There's the thing. I'm going to hold it up. And then I'm going to measure it. And then I'm going to count it down. Okay, we'll put a minute on it. Actually, we'll... We'll put a minute on it. The starting bid is 300. That's what it looks like, like that. And the measurement is, oh, oh no. This one's a little shorter, 15 and a half. 15 and a half on this one. The earrings are a nice size. The earrings are one and a half inches. The, oh, the centerpiece is two inches at its longest and one and a half inches at its tallest. It is also stunning. And I'll get rid of the clock, see what's happening in the comments. And do we have a starting bid of 300? All right, we are gonna uh, we are gonna pass it. We are gonna pass on this one. I put up the clock. So passing on the this choker. Hi, hello, welcome, Junking Data Girl. You're new. Please, if you'd like to register to bid, um, you can text or email. What's scrolling along the bottom? This is super special. I love these. Okay, these are super special. This is 
I don't even know how to describe this. The starting bit on this is 200. This is a later one. Look at the clasp. And it's these giant pearls that they did. These are super lightweight. And it's kind of these pagoda filigrees. 200 is really good on this. And I'm going to show you why. Because not only do you get this necklace, which is outstanding. Right? Oh. Oh, no. That's a little. That's okay. That's just part of the. All right. It's in perfect condition. Not only do you get these the necklace, but you get these. I would pay 200 just for these. I'm in love with these. I am in love with these. Look at these Haskell earrings. Okay. These are fantastic. It's 200 for the set. I'm going to put them on the earring holder tool and I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to die. Yeah. All right. There we are. It's so beautiful. I love the dome of the filigree. I love everything about these. I love the color. I love the size. I... Oh, look at that. Yes, Bernadette says 200. Yes, Bernadette, you and I, Bernadette and I, we're like sartorial sisters, I really think, you and I. Um, very similar. Yeah. Very similar. This is outrageous. Emily says 205. It's a steal. I mean, I know what you guys bid on on other auctions. None of that compares to this, what you're looking at right here. Look at it. Look at the sides. Alyssa says 210. It's really good. Really, really good. This should be three times that much. I'm not saying it has to go there. I'm just saying real. Oh, my God. Oh, baby. Nan says 220. Dawn's losing her mind. I am literally losing my mind. I, I think we're almost through because, and that's good. There's like the big one for 800 and, oh, that's it. It's just this and the big one for 800. Oh, my God. That's good because I'm ready to snap. I'm, I'm. I am so in love with this. I'm so in love with this. I, I have no words. I love these earrings so much. And it's only because I love these earrings and I've seen them. And I know that if I look at these at this enough, I'm going to madly look at it. It's like pagodas. It's like I'm in pain. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> look at it. Look, look at this. <laughs> oh my god dying dying yes feel my pain feel my pain that's what this that's what this channel is about i want everyone to feel pain when they watch <laughs> oh no i love it i love it i'll never see it again Thank you for bidding, everyone. Look at the rondelles, the filigree. This is just the height of Haskell. This, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw this in three weeks on first dibs for $1,000. Look look at the filigree. I mean, this is it. This is what you want in a Haskell. That happened to me. I had a Chanel. I had a Chanel purse, very special, from a woman that was at Chanel for 30 years. It was the, you, I'm sure you can Google it. It was like the CCs in like brown and yellow, one of a kind, I forget. It might've been cap hair or something. I don't know, I don't remember. But anyway, this woman came into the store and she gave me this big story about how her daughter-in-law was having a baby, <laughs> you know, like the whole thing. And she bought it and then I saw it literally two weeks after she picked it up, I saw it for $6,000 more than she paid. <laughs> So on first dibs. So there you go. Um, we have a high bid of 300 with Alyssa. Stunning, stunning, wonderful. Alyssa, if I don't have your information, please do make sure you text or email it. And I will honor your bid. 
If not, it will go to Second Chance Author. I feel like I know you, Alyssa. You have such a familiar name. But make sure I have your info, okay? Because otherwise you won't be able to complete. Christina Tonke is at 305. Mm. Oh, hi, Anne. <laughs> Don't worry, Anne. There'll be other times. There'll be other things. Okay, Jackie is out. So... It's Christina. Um, let us know, Alyssa, if you want to go to 310 or if you're out. And yeah, so nice to see you, Anne. Uh-oh, I just did something to my screen. Uh, everything went away. I just I just maximized my screen. Oh, Alyssa jumped up to 325. Alyssa's not playing. Okay, Alyssa says 325. So I can't. Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to let you guys do it. I'm done. I'm brain. Okay. Dawn has reached brain dead level. Well, it's because you know why I'm going to be honest with you. You know why I've reached brain dead level? Because I want this. And you know, you, I can't have everything that I want, but like, I want this. And so it's like, I can't think anymore. I'm just completely short circuited. Alyssa says 350. Ah, yeah. And look at the earrings. <laughs> look, look. Look how good they are. Let me show it to you up close again. Look. Look at the color. Even with the blue reflected from the computer, you can tell the color. Okay. Christina Tonke is at 355. So spew. So beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful is a combination of special and beautiful, and it's my word. <laughs> and I love my word. <laughs> uh, yeah, who knows what we might find those days also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So top bid is Christina Tonke at 355. Let us know if you're going to 360, Alyssa. And um, let us know if you're going to 360. 360 is still great for this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it. Up. I know who I'm hyperventilating to. Look, I didn't want to do this. I, I'm so in love with these. Okay, all right. Let us know if you're at 360, uh, Alyssa, and um, or if you're out. It's beautiful. <laughs> But it looks like you wrote spew, which is not, I mean, I get what you're saying. It's phonetic. But we have to figure out a different way to spell it. It has to be like spia beautiful, like like be a beautiful, but spia beautiful. Nan, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, is it Nan? No, it's Christina. It's it's Christina Jane. Congrats to Christina. It's Christina, it's yours. Yay, Christina. Yay, Christina. I don't know what you got it for. I do not know. Let me double, let me go to it. I'm going to go check. I can't talk. I can't talk. Okay, Christina, 355. Okay, Christina, 355. And then you let me know if you change your mind. Okay, which you won't, but if you ever do. Okay. Oh, I'm going to put this back in its little drawer because it's, it's delicate and special. Okay, so just one left, starting at 800. All right, so if there's any real collector in the house and you've been laying low, now is your time. This is worth thousands. All right, it's a three piece. It's what every collector wants. This is the most desirable. It's the multicolor on pearls. Uh, it's 1940s. It's thick. It's perfect. She took perfect care of this. She knew what she had. The starting bid on this is 800. Okay. That would be fine if it was just the necklace and I started it at 800. But it is also this giant brooch. Look at the layering, exquisite, perfect. 
in every way like new. Honestly, it is like new. Whoever gets this, you have to be careful. You have to make sure that you don't let the humidity change. You know, keep it in climate controlled area of your house. It's so perfect. I'm trying to get the gold. I, I can't get it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So there's that. It's the size of my hand. Okay. And even if it was just those two at 800, that's 400 each. It's beyond silly. But there's also the earrings. Like new. So all three pieces to start is $800. Look at the fine work. They are perfect. They have another 80 years in them easily with care. They are perfect. There's the back. There's, I want to show you the gold. There you go. Now you can see the gold. A real Peror. Yeah. A real, real, real Peror. A real one. A delight to wear. Um, this is the Haskell that attracts men. Um, the only com the only jewelry that I've ever seen men respond to is Miriam Haskell. They love it. I think it's because it's not about the preciousness of the materials. It's they they just love it. And I know Christina's in it. Oh my God, Christina. Wow, Christina, you're hot tonight, boy. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. And you know, you you have stuff to sell when you're ready. <laughs> there you go. There it is. Yeah. This would be 3500 on eBay, anywhere from 2700 up to the thousands to 3000 and up. So right now we are at 800 to oh, Jackie Wire is at 820. There they are together. Look at the scale, the size. Look at them. This is straight out of the book, guys. This is straight out of you know the watercolor ads that are in the Haskell book, this is very much what you would see in those ads. It is a once in a lifetime. This is once in a lifetime, once in a lifetime. You could find just the brooch this size in this condition for what we are looking at right now. And I'm not just saying that. It's very large. The provenance is superb. I'm going to measure it. I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. It is over three inches. It's, it's curved. Okay. So from end to end without the curve, like three and a quarter for the brooch. You know, and you could be so creative with this, like a modern way to wear this, right? Make it asymmetrical. Add it to the necklace. Wait, let me get that straight. There we are. Wait, I'm going to get it straight. I can't do it by looking at the camera. That's the whole thing. But this is fun. This is a fun, creative idea. Okay, there we are. Look at that. Look at that. Prada is going to steal this. We're going to see this in Prada next spring. You see that? Look at that. Look. Look. It's like asymmetrical. It's like all one side is the beaded flowers and then the other side is the pearls. Yes, 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 yes. This is it. This is the Haskell that everybody wants that never comes up. It takes years, it takes decades in between. You could put this, you could wear this like that. You could put this on a ribbon and have it as a pendant. Well, everything is a pendant to me. I mean, you all know now, you've seen my designs. Everything in the world becomes a pendant to Dawn. I think that's why my mother's feathers showed up in pendant form, so I could understand that. And it never occurred to me until Christina wrote and said, they're angel feathers. Um, Christina says a thousand. Okay. All right. Holding it up close. 
We are at a thousand, Jackie. There it is up close. And it has that tuck in. See how it tucks in? See the tilt that Haskell did? That, that's part of the joy, right? See, the, see how it's just that tuck in kind of, everything is neat and fluid. And then here's the earrings. Okay, there they are in the back. Okay, now I'm gonna move this one up to the front. I'm not gonna talk anymore. I think I'm just gonna annoy you if I keep talking. I'm just gonna let you guys, you know, I'm just gonna let you guys do your thing and think. Okay, we are. Thank you. Thank you, Sunday. Nan says 295. If this was mine, I would definitely do this. I think that makes it really modern. You know, so that it's like half pearls and the other half all just the beaded flowers. That's what I would do. That's all I'm going to say. Not going to talk anymore. There we are. Perfectly laid out. Someone had to draw this first, you know, so that it looked like a field of flowers. There's that up close. It is what you're seeing. It, there's nothing, it's better in person. There's no surprises. It's better in person than what you're seeing. I promise you. Okay, and now I'm gonna turn the necklace over so you can see the back of the necklace. I'll put it on the neck. Oh, I didn't even show you the clasp. But the clasp is all the little seed pearls. Pink beads, seed pink beads. I can't talk. Okay, there's the back. There it is. Absolute perfection. You can see the technique there, how everything's tucked. And I hope this was very fun for everyone to watch as well as the people bidding. Um, if you're new to Haskell, this is an excellent resource for you. You really get to see up, up close details. You know, it'll serve as, um, you know, uh, a good resource if you want to try and identify Haskell, you know, for Haskell identification. Look at the size of that. Yeah, so much fun. Thank you, Emily, for saying that. There's the back. And I'll try and hold this elegantly. There we are. There. There they are. There they are. The Peror, a real Peror. Lizzie says, it's been the best night, Dawn. I have learned so much. Thank you. You're so welcome. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Jackie's passing. So it is going to, haven't been watching. Is it Nan? Nan. I think it's Nan. Beauty and Wednesday. Yes, absolutely, Gina. They have magic. They really have magic. Look at the sparkle on them. 
All right. So sold. I'm going to ring the bell. Oh, Christina Tonki says, blah, blah, blah. okay, I'm going to get rid of that bot. Locking the bot. Okay. All right. So Christina Tonki is at 1180. I'll just let you guys go and I'll do the. All right. Thank you, Sunday, for doing this. You're really, you're really filling in for me now. Appreciate it. Okay, it's between Christina and Nan. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'll show you the... Um, there's that. Trying to get it. So here we are. All right. All right. Don't know where we are. Hi, Elaine. You're new. Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. I think you're a friend of Nan's, probably. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Everyone's applauding. Nan, is that is it Nan? Let me double check. Oh, I think it's Nan. Okay, congrats, Nan. Is it Nan? I think it's Nan. Christina said, "Oh my God, Nan, you did it. You did it, Nan. It's a good investment. You'll be extraordinarily happy. Extraordinarily happy. I don't know what your topic was. Let me let me get to it." Okay. All right. That was a steal. Yes, it was a lot of money. It was also a steal. <laughs> so thank you everyone um, so much for being here tonight. There's still 121 people here. Um, I, you're a Haskell collector. Congratulations. You've just mainlined. <laughs> you're in now. You're in. You're in. Um, so it was a great buy. It really was. So what you're going to do now is, um, I don't know, I'm going to go have something to eat and I'm going to say thank you very much. Oh, I know what I want to say. So the next thing that's happening for me in my channel is the Galaxy pop-up. It's they're not, they're not pop-ups. I actually have a Galaxy channel. I have a shop. Uh, I have a Galaxy channel on Galaxy, which is live. It's like YouTube and Instagram combined. So I'm going to put the link to that here. If you don't, it's also, I have a separate text number for Galaxy. So please subscribe to my Galaxy channel and text that number to get connected there on my Galaxy. I'm doing sales, live sales in the shop um, Friday, the next two Fridays of this month at 7 p.m., so you can come hang out with me and we can talk and we can talk collecting and thing and there'll be discounts and whatever's in the store. It's going to be at least 20%. Um, so thank you everyone for coming. Um, it's been an extraordinary night. It's been one of the best nights of my um, collecting life so far. And I'm so glad that everything is staying in the club, in the family. And I'm sure that our consigner family is watching and I'm sure she's very pleased too. And hopefully I'll get to show a picture of her soon. All right. Good night, everybody. Take care. See you next time.